Hey guys, this is Amy with Stick With The Plan. Today I'm talking about you got a brand new thing coming. No need to look to the past. Stay right here, we'll get right into it. So glad you joined me today. I'm talking about you have a new thing coming. I just heard that song that came out recently and I was just listening to it and I love the words to it. I got a new thing coming. I'm not stuck in the past. It made me think about that example of the rear view mirror. There's a reason car makers make your rear view mirror a little smaller and the windshield, what's in front of you, so much greater. Because if you get stuck paying too much attention to what's in the rear view mirror, you'll never make it to your destination. You'll, you'll be uh, focused on the past and that'll keep you behind. Even when I was biking out of my driveway today, you know, putting in reverse, I had to look in the rear view mirror. I go slow, why? Because this vision, it's limited. The same in our spiritual lives as well. There's things that we've gone through in our life, things that have happened to us, some tragedies, disappointments. Usually what the enemy will use in your rearview mirror is everything bad that's happened to you, what they've said, what they did to you, how they wronged you, mistreated you, and that's what you play. And if you're not careful in life, you'll be living your life looking through the rearview mirror instead of that windshield that's in front of you. And I believe that's the trick of the enemy, just to replay, get your eyes off of, off of your future, where you're going, where God's taking you, and making you look to the past. Well, we know in the rearview mirror what we've gone past is what we see. Well, that's a testimony to the faithfulness of God. You've already passed it. It's already behind you. That trouble is already gone. I was with a, a gentleman a couple weeks ago and we had known him years ago and some trouble happened in his life, but he was still talking about the trouble from 20 years ago. His mind was still on the rearview mirror. He hadn't accomplished much since then. Yeah, he was wrong. Yeah, it was terrible what he went through. But if you keep rehashing that and rehashing that you won't be able to go where God's pulling you out of. I love Isaiah in chapter 43 and verse 18. It says, forget about, forget about the former things. Don't consider the past anymore. Some translations will say right there, if you knew how good the future was, it doesn't even compare to the past. That what's happened to you before, don't even worry about that. Don't worry what disappointments or failures were in that rear view mirror. It doesn't compare to what God has in store for you going on to say that in verse 19 that behold I do a new thing shall you not know it people who don't know it they're stuck in the rear view but you and I we know it he's gonna do a new thing it springs forth it's a suddenly to make you know roads in the wilderness and rivers in the desert God wants to supply for you something that's so much greater than you've ever seen in your past to take you to that destination but as long as I'm holding on tight to the past and I'm not looking straight ahead I'm looking what's happened to me I'm concentrating on the past he cannot get me to where where I'm going or I won't be able to get there very fast. You know, it's okay to glance in the rearview mirror. It kind of will act as keeping you on track, keeping you in line. It'll be like a, a guide, but I can't focus on this and get to where I'm going. It won't happen. You know, we had a car one time a couple years ago and, and it was just, um, you know, it was a transitional car and we had sewn several cars into other people's lives. So this car, um, you know, I knew I wouldn't be stuck in this car very long because when I shut the door the door handle would come off with it <laughs> when I would turn on the wipers they were held together by electrical tape when they were going back and forth and I thought oh god you don't want me in this in this car but I got the new car on the inside I knew there was a new thing coming should you not know it what's coming to me is going to be so much greater than anything in the past that I've experienced so I didn't just look at that car I got in that car and began to say oh thank you Lord for my new car I didn't worry about the door handle anymore Jay put screws in it so I could slam it and the handle wouldn't come off <laughs> I didn't worry about the wipers anymore. Why? I got that revelation. A new thing is coming. No matter what you've gone through in the past, the hurt, the injuries, the disappointments, what, what, what was wrong to you, what the tragedies were, don't keep your eyes on that rear view. In fact, take the rear mirror out of your, out of your focus. Just get rid of it. Go, go for the windshield. Go, God is leading me somewhere. He's taking me to a new destination. You know, in Luke, I was reading chapter five, where it says that you can't put new wine in old wine skins. You have to have new wineskins for the new wine. God wants to get new to you. If you've tried to put the new and the old, it says those wineskins, they would burst, the wine would be ruined, the wineskin would be ruined. But for you and I, we, we want the new. We want the new that God has in store for us. 
the same in our lives. You know, my closet is so full of clothes. I was in there the other day and just pulling out boots and shirts and things that they don't belong anymore. If I want the new stuff, I got to get rid of the old. The same for you and I. Come on, don't get stuck in the rear view mirror. Get that song in your heart right now. There's a new thing coming. You're not stuck where you are. Allow the Lord just to give you a new heart, a, a new vision, a, a, a new destination, and put your eyes on that. You got a new thing coming. That's how you'll stick with the plans. He has for you. Thanks for joining me today. I love hearing all that God is doing in your life. And thank you, thank you for sharing this new friends. Get to watch this because you are sharing this. If you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. If you're on Facebook, like this page. We'll have a brand new video for you next week. And remember, every Tuesday we are live. I'll see you then.